Welcome back. Bob Wilkins here, this time with a method of train speed control that can be accomplished on small layouts by using an inexpensive motor speed controller along with a transformer and adapter plug. This controller works with DC operation on small layouts such as round, oval or point-to-point -point configurations and gives smoother, fine control of speed compared to using any of the older legacy type controllers from Lifelike, Tyco, Backman or Model Power. The speed controller is shown here. A dial knob setting for adjusting the speed from 0 to 100% is shown. A red LED indicates that the power is on to the controller a three-way switch for setting the direction of the current flow to the track. Forward is up, reverse is down, and to turn track power off, set the switch to the middle position. Holes at the top and bottom can be used for attaching the, this unit to a control panel. The label on the back of the controller shows that it is rated for input voltage from a wall transformer with outputs of 10 to 60 volts and with up to two, 6 amps of current flow. Power input and output terminals are located on the back of the controller unit indicating how to hook up the wiring from the transformer and for setting up the wiring to the track. The transformer can vary depending on the voltage and amperage needed for running the trains. For small layouts, a 12 volt direct current transformer with 2 amp limit is adequate. Higher rated transformers can be used but do not use transformers that have AC output. As stated, for small layouts, a 12 volt DC wall transformer rated for a 110 volts of AC house voltage and giving 12 volts of direct voltage with up to 2 amps or 2000 milliamps of current is adequate for locomotives that are rated for only 12 volts. The transformer terminal plug has two center pins on the inside of the terminal which must be the positive current source as displayed on the label on the transformer with the red arrow. Don't use transformers with a center negative pin as they won't match the adapter plug. The adapter plug is used to allow for wire connections to the speed controller power input terminals. The plug is used for the 5.5 mm by 2.1 mm plug on the end of the transformer cable. Match the polarity noted on the adapter plug with those on the power terminals of the speed controller. Wires from the speed controller motor output are attached to the rail terminals. The positive side, red wire, is attached to the terminal supplying current to the rail on the right to comply with NMRA standards for forward movement of the locomotive from left to right. In this sequence we see the level of speed control as we dial up the knob from slow speed at around 20% power to moderate speed at 50% power and fast speed at 70%. Full speed is not shown as it is not prototypical and the train could come off the track. As stated, this speed controller setup is ideal for small layouts including the model train sounds auto reversing point to point layout and the stop and go oval layout. Other examples include oval or circular track layouts shelf or ceiling setups, Christmas tree layouts, and displays. 
The controller is not recommended for large and complex layouts where DCC or alternating current or fixed DC output is needed. For those interested in using this speed controller, we have put together a package that includes the speed controller, the 12 volt DC transformer rated for two amps of current, the adapter plug, and the wires for connection of the transformer to the controller. This package is available at the website modeltrainsounds.com under Project 25. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out other projects at our website modeltrainsounds.com. Bye for now and happy model railroading.